All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today I wanna make a video addressing the Call of Duty developers at Sledgehammer Games. And realistically, I guess pretty much all game developers because I don't really think that this is a good situation like uh, in terms of PR. I don't think this is a very good way to handle people talking badly about your product, people talking bad about your game. And I think that this is just more or less a mo most recent chapter in a long going story of Sledgehammer Games being more or less out of touch and realistically the whole call of duty developer community being out of touch now before we even get into like today's video right i want to remind you guys of a situation that unfolded back in call of duty world war ii with the then head of sledgehammer games michael condry and a youtuber by the name of omg it's birdman now you probably know who this is he's also in the commentary community i know we have a lot of like similar audiences and whatnot because people tell me all the time that oh you sound like birdman or something like that but birdman uh basically got into like a public twitter beef with Michael Condry and it made Sledgehammer look like shit when this happened because Birdman was like kind of roasting the developers because at the time World War II sucked and it was only after a bunch of the top people at Sledgehammer left that the game got fixed and like all of the community feedback started finally getting implemented. I think the real beef between them came because like at the time kills and domination were worth like 50 points or 25 points or something and like Birdman and uh, but a big portion of the community might I add including myself wanted wanted it to be at 100 like it should be because that's like the appropriate amount of XP and whatnot to get for a kill. And there was like the big beef between them for that and it was like a big public spat and everything. And this kind of reminds me of that situation in a lot of ways because it really just shows that COD developers are truly out of touch with their product. And they complain at like the slightest fucking like aggression, quote unquote, from the community. Like someone will tell them that Call of Duty shit and these developers like get a fucking wedgie or something over it. You know, they just get so fucking upset at the idea of someone saying that, right? So I wanted to show you guys this and kind of talk about it because I really think that this is a problem in the Call of Duty franchise. These developers, they don't listen to community feedback. They fuck up the game. They just completely destroy the product that people care about and paid for. Then when they get mean comments on Twitter and like people shit on them, they just act completely stunned and surprised. Now I'm not here to like justify some of the things that people do. I mean, there's people who send these fucking developers death threats and stuff like that. I mean, that's just ridiculous. But the idea that people are getting so upset at hearing that Call of Duty's total shit that we're fucking subtweeting random accounts on Twitter and getting a bunch of the staff in on it and stuff, it, it just, it not only looks pathetic, they're not actually addressing anything that the community has to say. And it really just serves to piss people off a little bit more, I feel like. So keep in mind, I don't know any of these employees that we're about to show here. I have no fucking clue who these people are. Apparently, this is the new Sledgehammer staff and, and whatever here. But anyway, uh, so that's why Kat is total shit now. And then she responds, sorry, y'all, but apparently I'm solely responsible for the quality of Call of Duty now. So to give you a little backstory here, Darcy is actually the senior software engineer at Sledgehammer Games, which I would say is a pretty important important role you know what i mean you're the senior software engineer at a triple a game studio unfortunately when you're in a position like that a lot of issues are gonna fall back on you because you have seniority like you're the i guess head honcho quote unquote of that department i know that sounds goofy but yes you're gonna be the one who catches the flack you're the one who's gonna be catching those comments especially when people don't like the game that's currently out right so darcy according to her twitter bio here has worked on both call of duty vanguard and black Ops Cold War, which I think, at least to me, indicates why this is such a big deal, right? So, uh, if you played either of these Call of Duties, I would say these are the two most underwhelming Call of Duties that have come out in the last, well, at least since Infinite Warfare. Personally, I think these are the two worst CODs that we've gotten in at least half a decade, and they've came back to back. So, when you see that kind of message being sent, I guess, that these are the two games you've worked on, it doesn't give me a lot of hope, to be honest, but let's go ahead and address this so obviously she's not solely responsible for the decline of call of duty right it's not like in 2013 when cod really started going downhill that like darcy was at blame for all of it right what this basically is is a cop-out right so this person says oh that's why cod fucking sucks now so their point is call of duty is shit now and i guess it's your fault which it is partially your fault because you're working on the game and you have 
quite the powerful position, I would say, at Sledgehammer. I mean, you're not the fucking owner of the studio, but, I mean, you're a senior software engineer. That's a pretty important job title, right? So, yes, you are partially to blame for it. Fully? Absolutely not. But this is when the other uh, Sledgehammer employees decide that they're going to start jumping in one by one to start talking about how they've fucked up Call of Duty. So... I worked on Vanguard, I had to have helped ruin COD 2, says Ben Coleman, who, by the way, is a senior level designer. And me, I also helped ruin COD, don't hog all the credit. Well, uh, John, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys all equal credit on destroying the recent fucking Call of Duty game, and realistically, why Sledgehammer has such a bad reputation. This is part of it right here. This is part of the reason, in my opinion, why Sledgehammer has a shitty reputation in the COD community. Number one, they have a reputation for making the most underwhelming Call of Duty game pretty much every single cycle. Like, let's take a, a good history look into Sledgehammer and their work on COD. So, you know, they've been supporting developers on a bunch of different CODs back to, like, MW3. They're fine at that role, in my opinion. Like, when they're working on someone else's game to help prop it up, they kind of can handle their job. But they've now released uh, three main Call of Duty titles. COD Advanced Warfare, which has been one of the most hated CODs because it had an introduced advanced movement. Call of Duty World War II, which is once again one of the most underwhelming COD games. It came out a complete disaster and it took, like, six months to become even a remotely polished game whatsoever. And then now Call of Duty Vanguard, which is known for its disappointing sales figures and player counts, and many of the player base of the Call of Duty franchise just outright doesn't like this game. So they're arguably like one for three on COD games. I liked Advanced Warfare for what it was worth. I mean, I wasn't a fan of EXO movement, but for what that game's purpose was, I thought it was okay. I don't really want to count World War II as a win because it took them half the development cycle to make it a playable game game and vanguard in my opinion just isn't fucking good right like it just it sucks it's just so mediocre at best right like it's a complete five out of ten if i've ever seen one it's better than a free-to-play first person shooter on your phone but it's not even as good as like the like top eight cods so all of these developers jump at the idea of getting this person on twitter you know we gotta own on them like oh you know this idiot thinks we're fucking responsible for the game sucking right well the problem with that is yes you all are at fault for the game sucking not individually altogether, but your studio is at fault for it. And all of these people have senior jobs. John is a senior artist, Ben is a senior level designer, and Darcy is the senior product engineer or whatever, right? So I think it's very ironic that perhaps the three biggest people talking about this also have seniority in three of the game's biggest issues, right? So Ben, let me tell you how you fucked up COD. The maps in this game suck, okay? They, they just suck. Sledgehammer makes some of the worst Call of Duty maps I've ever fucking seen. And I don't even feel like that's a controversial opinion. I mean, think of all of the classic maps in Call of Duty history. There may not be one single map that has come from Sledgehammer that you can count as a genuine classic COD map. You got, what, London Docks? Honestly, what else is there, right? Like, I, I can't think of one. Let's move on here to John. Yes, you also are responsible for fucking the game up. This game, you know, it graphically is impressive because I think of the engine upgrades and changes that they've been making for COD over the last few years. But let's not pretend like this game isn't the most bland pile of shit ever. Like, there's no fucking color in this game, and I get it, it's a World War II game. I'm not asking for everything to look like a Dragon Ball power-up in terms of color, but like, come on, man, does everything have to look like actual fecal matter? The game is gray at best. You know, like, I feel colorblind when I'm playing this shit. So I just find it ironic that the three employees that we cover here all have seniority in three of the game's biggest issues, and they're upset that people are calling COD shit. Now let me explain why this is a problem. Well, first and foremost, Sledgehammer has had a history of this kind of behavior, right? They've had Michael Condry do it with YouTubers. They've had now instances like this, where these employees are just mad over some eight-follower account on Twitter telling them the game fucking sucks. And the reason this matters is because Sledgehammer isn't doing anything to actually make this game better. So from my understanding of it, and, and I don't play Vanguard anymore, so I guess I don't have the first person experience here to verify this, but from what I've heard, uh, the most recent patch update notes went out a few days ago, and they pushed the update out live alongside the patch notes, right? So you could read what they fixed in the game, what they changed. Well, Sledgehammer is such an incompetent studio that apparently some of the bug fixes and the issues that they put in the patch notes that they said they fixed didn't even get pushed out live. 
So they literally told people that they updated shit that they didn't. Because, I don't know, they forgot to update the fucking game fully? Because they forgot to put some of the updates into the fucking game? Yeah, these are the people who are mad that you call COD shit on Twitter, right? Like, these are the people who, when they see a fucking eight-follower account on Twitter say their game sucks, are like, Oh, huh, how could, how could uh, I fuck up COD more, guys? Duh, I worked on Vanguard. I had to have helped ruin the game. Yeah, you did. You did help ruin it. Like, it's not a coincidence that Vanguard's, like, sales and everything Thing we're actually disappointing to Activision. There's no coincidence that the vast majority of COD, it's not a coincidence that the majority of COD players on like Twitter, uh, like that talk about the game to me at least, all have negative perceptions of the game. It's not a fucking coincidence. So I think instead of like getting on Twitter and like trying to own these fucking randos that are tweeting to you that your game sucks, maybe actually listen to user feedback and make a good game. Like I, I think that that's a very possible opportunity. I don't see why that is like a controversial statement to these people, you know? And I get it, right? Like this person who tweeted COD is total shit now, they didn't really give any constructive criticism, right? They didn't tell you anything you could fix with the game. But YouTubers like me have been doing this for years and getting fucking ignored, right? Like Call of Duty will fly out the people who suck the game's cock hard enough, right? But the people who actually give genuine constructive criticism that have been playing for like a decade plus can't get a fucking word in edgewise because you know, either the developers don't listen to you. This is, I'm fucking, I'm going to go off on a tangent here. This is the, the COD developer slash creator cycle. Creator makes videos talking about how Call of Duty can be positively changed. Developing studios and Activision don't pay attention and don't listen and continue to fuck the game up. Creators increasingly get aggravated and start being meaner to the developers and fans included. Then when people lash out at the developers for making shitty products, like in YouTube videos or in tweets, all all of a sudden, oh, oh, why are we getting so much hate? Apparently, we're responsible for Call of Duty sucking. I mean, who else is working on the game, right? Like, who else is... It's not like fucking Rando McForskin over here from Twitter is fucking making the game, right? Y'all are the ones making the game. Y'all are the ones working on the product. I don't think it's controversial to say, yes, you are partially responsible for the game being ass. And instead of constantly... Every time you have a new fucking title come out, you get in arguments with people on Twitter as a staff instead of just listening to community feedback. It makes your studio look shittier. It makes you guys guys look worse. And I'm not here to dogpile and say these developers are horrible and deserve fired or they're bad people, but it's like, dude, people make plenty of good points against you guys all the time. If you're not going to listen to those and respond to them, then why do you give a fuck about this? I don't know, man. It just doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, with that being said though, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, responding to the Sledgehammer developers and really Realistically, all COD developers and signing out.